On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a nine chord. There is no difference between D9 and D dominant 9. It's the same chord. I don't know where this confusion comes from, but we've debunked this on my guitar platform, scottguitarteacher.com. So let's look at this chord, shall we? This is the root. This is the third. That makes it major. So far we've just got D major. Then we have the flat seven. That makes it dominant. Anything else we add on top of this, it's always going to be dominant. Then the next string we've got the ninth. That's all you need for a dominant nine chord. The fifth does not change the chord at all, whether I've got it in there or not. It still functions as a dominant chord because we've got a major third and a flat seven. You don't call it D9 because there's no fifth in there. The most important intervals of a chord are the root, because that's what everything is measured by. Our ear picks up on what the root is and we measure every note from there. Then the third, because that's the difference between major and minor. The seventh interval will give you the difference between major seven or dominant seven. If you only had those three intervals in a chord, you have everything you need to know the function of that chord. When naming a chord D9, it's shorthand for D dominant 9. It's telling you everything about the chord. It's telling you to have the third, the flat seven, and the ninth. I don't know where the confusion comes from. 